We on the boat, baby. Oh, oh, oh. And we got some special guests. We actually out here in North Miami. It's nice. We had a little winter for one day. Um, but we nice now. The weather's nice. You see the nice breeze. You see the sun. You see. Wait a minute. Oh, the sun? <laughs> There's no sun. You're shining like the sun. <laughs> ah! Ah! Hey, but look, we got special guests. Um, we actually tried to do all tunes on Skype, but it didn't work. Um, remember? Yeah. yeah we're, we're it, it was dope, but y'all was freezing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I actually drove up the wood call and everything. I was yeah. actually like, we were the spot, but, but now we're here. Yeah. With Mercury Wolf. Can we get a. Oh! Oh! So, for those who don't know out there, across the world, because now, you know, all the tunes, we're hitting 5,000 views now. So, you know, you know we, we, we appreciate that. And we also on Four Man Con TV. We want to give a big shout out to Carmen Styles. Hey. Styles from the underground. Ooh. Big Love up Carmen it. Styles. You put you. This is you. You put this together. Like let's, let's be real. Now <laughs> we got Mercury Wolf and Pluto. How y'all doing, man? We're great. How, you, how does it feel to be back in Miami? It feels awesome, actually. I tell you what was awesome. That lemon chicken. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Pluto putting All together right, downstairs. Yeah, we eating some lemon chicken. Broccolis and you know some other vegetables that you know uh, I gave away, but that's, that's besides the point. But beef, we have it. squash. Yes, beef, squash, and so healthy. Which what y'all all about? So Mercury Wolf is actually from Miami, and then you uh, disappeared from Miami, but you were other places. You was at New York, ATL, Houston, LA, Colorado, and back to Miami. Why? Uh, <clears throat> we weren't, we, we, we became like, when we left Miami, we were kind of ready for something else. We felt like we had done as much as we could with, at the time of where we were and who we were and all that stuff. We did as much as we could. And I was like, I need to get out of here and I need to see what everybody else is doing. And it was in a way I was like seeking kind of validation of who I always like of my own purpose and like right. my own vision because it was so hard for us in Miami to like I had this like I had your kind of message you know mm -hmm. and I was very very strong about it and I had very strict rules I had a house that I opened up for everybody but there was rules you know right, what I mean right. and yeah, it was just yeah. really funny because when people wanted to try me in my house and I was like no it's like all of a sudden I'm a bad guy uh -huh. so it was like a lot of craziness right. like that and I was just like, I gotta get out of here. And, um, and and when we went, sorry to cut y'all, but when we went out, I and to all these great other cities. Not that Miami's not great, but all these other great cities, I was able to really like both of us really grow and right. expand with people who can nurture us and teach us in a way that's not so like abusive. Right, right, <laughs> you right. Know? But you know, it's always good. You know, it's, it's good to. Uh, that's what you. That what leads you to. Uh, but it brought us right back here. Right. Brought us right back home. Stronger. Yeah. And um, you um actually about to drop a CD. Yes. On the twenty fourth, which will be Tuesday. Yes. Tell me about the CD. Uh, the CD. What's is the name of it? Uh, Mercury Retrograde. Retrograde. Yes. <laughs> talk yeah. to talk to me about Mercury Retrograde. Why that name? Um, it just it's like the most sensical name because it feels like um, my life has been like a retrograde for like probably the last four years. What does retrograde mean? So retrograde is kind of like. Um, like going backwards. Mm. So in astrology, which, you know, if you're wondering where my name Mercury comes from, it completely has everything to do with astrology and mythology and all that good stuff. And the so, wolf? And the wolf also comes from mythology, the goddess of the hunt. And, um, She's hunting you down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm hunting you Mercury down. Mercury and Pluto, and by the way. And then unleashing so, some of his know. love yeah. for yes. you. Uh, <laughs> About that. Yeah, so Mercury Oh, yeah, so retrograde. Mercury retrograde. So, like, in astrology, when the planet Mercury or any planet is retrograde, it just means that from Earth's perspective, it appears to be going backwards. Mm -hmm. It's not really going backwards. No. There's no such thing as a planet going backwards. But if you think about it, you know, as it rotates at some point, the, from the perspective of Earth and that planet, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look like the planet is going backwards backwards you know right. just because of like the position mm -hmm. of like the rotation oh so by being that you leaving and coming back yeah so anything that that anything that those planets uh rule like mercury rules communication uh travel you know um intellect um 
those three weeks that uh, that we that we have a retrograde um, of Mercury, uh, people are kind of like forgetful. They, they they lose things. They get in the car accidents sometimes. They like you know it's just kind of like you know if you sign a contract it doesn't it falls through. You know if you if you start a new job it falls through. You know like a new apartment it falls through. Just happened. You know and it has happened so many times in front of my eyes. It's happened to me and people I know. I mean this is not just like pseudo anything this is real anyway <laughs> but it's because if you think about it it's because from earth's perspective it that energy appears to be going backwards so it's confused it's like uh. delirious so it's like the collective conscious of earth is confused at that moment so whether people recognize it or not they're feeling this vibration of confusion right you know and so i felt very confused at times <laughs> for the last four years knowing what my purpose was but kind of like where am I going right. exactly, you know, and just having complete faith in like God, you know, that that source, that energy that, that just connects all of us, however you call it. I like to use the, the name God, it makes sense to me. And yeah, and so uh, just kind of following that with faith. And a lot of times I looked crazy, Finland, you know, we you looked, we both, Hallelujah. we both look crazy as fuck to people. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah. They say I'm crazy. Yeah. They say I'm on drugs. They say all these kind of things. But the faith with the purpose, I understand that's where you come from. So what would the, what what can people expect from Mercury retrograde? Mercury retrograde is going to be like an introduction to um, a lot of the feelings that we had kind of leaving here two years ago, mm -hmm. and then um, the angry feeling. That angry or, feeling. Ooh, okay, when you get angry. Yeah. Fuck boys come out. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Talk I to have. me about fuck boys, man. If you never <laughs> heard fuck boys, you got to check it out. You got to go to mercurywolf.com or you can go to YouTube and just look up Mercury Wolf fuck boys and you got to see that video. video. It's a movie. Yeah. It's a movie. Yeah. It's not a video. You, yeah. you, you're you very artistic at that too. You're very like, your mind, your, your vision, you, you, you're one of the people that take your vision inside your mind and make and actually make it reality. Thank you. So talk to me about, about fuck boys, the song and the video. Uh, the song Fuck Boys was inspired by um, Fuck Boys, Fuck Boys yeah. <laughs> you know, and it was actually a term that I learned uh, in my time hanging out with Pluto and his friends. Um, uh, he's from Carroll City. Uh, it's one of the neighborhoods in Miami. City, Carroll City. That's, uh, that's where Rick Ross is from, in case you're trying to understand. Uh, so anyway, so they taught me what fuck boys means. I mean, I, they were just saying it to each other, you know, like friends are like, oh, you fuck boy, you fuck boy. I'm like, what are you, like, what are you guys talking about? You know, like, right. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? You know, <laughs> and they, you do they, that in Cal City? they school, huh? Do you do that in Cal City? <laughs> yes. What? You know what? <laughs> do hey, whatever, you know that's allowed in Cal City. Whatever I want. <laughs> what is you want, Mercury Wolf? Wolf. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, Anyway, so they schooled me. Right. They schooled me. You know what I mean? They put, they took me under their wing. They're like, "Come on, little girl, let me tell you." And so, um, and so they taught me. And then, whatever. And then I started realizing that some of this, so there were some people in my life that were actually fuckboys. And I, I saw it as an epidemic and something that we needed to address. Right. Right. Uh, so just, yes. right now, the only way that you can access the term is either in a hood or if you go to Urban Dictionary. But that's not good enough. For or you, you can me. go to Mercury Wolf. Exactly. So now you can go to MercuryWolf.com. You go to go to YouTube, right. iTunes. Spotify, Fine. you better check Top me out. That. Spotify. So, it was a group of four, and now it's just you and Pluto. Yeah, it was more than four. It was more, like it was a group. It was like, like a whole band. Like, it was like five, and then there was dancers, and there was like all what? that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, you put the whole thing together. So, Pluto, yeah, yeah. talk to me, man. Everything is up. Um, <laughs> you, you, you're, you're part of Mercury Wolf. Yeah, yeah. And what is the best part about being a part of Mercury? Woo! Just about everything. You know. <laughs> It, it, um, it's definitely a, uh, uh, how to say it, experience and a half, you know, being working with Mercury for the last two years, going on tour, you know, tackling the, the East Coast and then the West Coast, and just really being, you know, uh, evolving and expanding. Right. And you play the bass. Oh, yeah. And um, so when y'all making your music, now it's just two of y'all, like, who comes up with the, with the, with the, with the, with the, the music part, right, the right. instruments parts and the yeah, beat yeah. part? I mean, I, I'm I'm lead producer at the moment, mm -hmm. for Mercury Wolf, and um, and definitely Mercury and I, we um, how would you say it? We we, we jam. We, we, we like I know jam. you. I jam, you jammed at the um, from K House. Oh yeah, and, yeah. You know, we, we got we got a couple of good times over there, you know. Yeah, no. um, so <coughs> we're we're co-producers. Co-producers, of course. Yeah, you yeah. know. Um, 
he's, but, he's but trying to catch the, up the, to me. But what's the what's the what's the what's the um the procedure? Like you come up with the you hear you um, hear it and then you yeah. put the bass on it or yeah you know sometimes it's, it's it's channeled out you know you, you stick on a rip rip and like you, fuckboys like, was um we were jamming like with some other group of people and he just had this bass line. Oh, okay. the so bass line, line came first the bass line came first <laughs> and and then I had already started writing something about fuckboys right, right. Yeah, and so I was clipping. like yeah I was just looping it with his bass and looping it looping it and then after a month of it I was like yo we gotta make this a song and then he surprised me two days later boom he brought the production ah, it was full it was full that's a dope it was song full. Buddy. yeah it is a dope song so um what's your wait how many songs is on the scene um seven seven songs no oh. seven tracks seven tracks EP. okay dope well I mean what, what is your what is your What's your favorite joint off? What's my favorite Which joint one you think, off of it? The one that people are gonna hear and they're gonna be like, yo, this is the You know what though? I can't say that there's one because it's so eclectic that yeah, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some people that are gonna love Fuck Boys and then there's some people that are gonna love Pluto. Pluto. The song I wrote. There's a song called Pluto. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear that jam. There's a song called <laughs> Venus that I know people are gonna love. Oh, all right, know? I gotta hear Pluto. I wanna hear Pluto. Yeah. Yeah. All Pluto's all a good dude, man. He's um, really, really one of them really down to earth, even though he's from Pluto. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Humble, Humble. Humble. Yeah, real, real, good people's man. So, yeah. um, the opposite of me. No, I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do this real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah, um, okay. Best and worst part about being in New York. Oh man, I didn't like the smells of the subway. I got all <laughs> You're big rats. Yeah, man, I, I didn't know that was out there, man. <laughs> best, worst part for you? Uh, the worst part is specific to that experience that I could not find wolves that could hold us down before There's we no left. There's no wolves in New York. I mean, I couldn't find any that could hold us okay. down at the time. Okay. That was the worst part. Okay, it's true, it's true. Everything else is awesome to me. I so love the best New York. part. About, I even, best part, <laughs> the best part about smell. New York musically, like, you know, what's the oh, best man, part about it? It's everywhere, man. It's, it's everywhere. The yeah, best man. part is that I can get a gig. I can get, like, a residency gig at, like, some hole-in-the-wall restaurant in Brooklyn. They'll pay me, like, 150 let's say. Nobody has to be inside the restaurant. That shit is dope. Thank you very much. <laughs> New York City. <laughs> ATL, worst part. Oh, man. I don't, no way, man. I, I, didn't have I don't, even, part. No I don't even know if that's even a sentence. Like, it's, it's, that can it's all good. Be. That's all the hospitality. It, it's wow. all the hospitality. Yeah, Who gets you right yeah, Houston. Yeah. Houston. The worst part was... That traffic, man. It oh. Was, it was, they do it real big out there, all right? In the traffic. <laughs> they do it heavy out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying what he said. The best part. The best part. Tacos! Woo! Tacos? Yo, those tacos they make the best. They, they, well, they of course. change. It's out of the border. That makes sense. Makes Dude, sense. Yeah. I never ate spicy food ever until makes I went to makes Texas. Sense. Makes sense. And something about that flavor just. Nah, now I have got, to have hot sauce. Always. Always have to have hot sauce. Always. Let's taco turn down the street. We live, man. Auto tunes. Full Man Con TV. Styles from on the ground universe Miami. Here we we here with Mercury Wolf, Pluto, LA. LA, the worst part was the hospitality. Oh. Mm. Yeah, it was really strict out there, you know. No. Yeah, yeah. Cops straight up like, you gotta get out of this neighborhood. Oh, you gotta wow. keep going. Yeah. Oh, they probably but they were nice bangers. about it at least. <laughs> uh the uh, best part. Best part. How easy and excuse me. Ooh. Please. Ooh. Please. But how easy I can get in the industry. Well, hey, thank you, LA. <laughs> for you, well, Pluto, on the other hand. Yeah, no. What do you mean? Because you're, you're Murky Wolf. I mean, we, 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 we both on it, man. We, it was a lot of fun out there. So yeah, where's we the, what, fun. But where's the, where's the best place you performed where the reception was just, you know? I would say Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah. I was, I was I would say Atlanta. Hmm. I mean, Dope. There's places everywhere, though. Now, um, how do you describe Mercury Wolf music? Transcendental, no. progressive. Progressive, because you got like a um, a mixture. Yeah. And, uh, and and let's talk about something real quick. Cause you was on Four Man Con TV, uh, 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 past episode, and you were talking about hip hop community. Yeah. Expand a little bit on that for me. Well, you see, like when we when we left Miami <coughs> two years ago, we the band that I. How Mercury Wolf started out was originally called Mars y Mercurio, which was two members that wasn't Pluto it was actually another member called Mars and he was a guitar player and then I was on my piano my keys my synth and it was like it was it was it was I almost had no lyrics at first and then it kind of progressed into lyrics but it was very kind of like celestial 
atmospheric, you know, expansive, and then it was psychedelic too. And then we started feeling the classic rock influences from like the Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin, you know? And it was like, it was raw channeling, you know? <clears throat> and I didn't grow up listening to Pink Floyd either. So it was just raw channeling, you know? Woo, that conscious dreaming. And it was just this dope, epic thing that, you know, we started kind of, like, started, you know, like a following started and people were coming to the house, my house, Red Light. And it was just like this thing that was for me. Um, <clears throat> but, like, from things that I mentioned earlier in the, you know, the hip hop things wasn't, wasn't so good. So when we left, when we left Miami, uh, not knowing what, where the hell we're going next, Atlanta was our first stop. And we performed for essentially a hip hop crowd. Right. You know, it was a showcase and it was pretty much everybody was in there to rap, you know, and maybe a few singers. And I was there to sing, but I wasn't there to sing hip hop or R&B. It was something else. It was something, the flavor that came from Miami. You were very receptive. Yeah, and they were so receptive, so receptive, that like, I finally understood the phrase, hip hop saved my life. I finally got it because hip hop Amen. saved my life isn't the music, it's the community. Yes. It's that love that's like, Hip-hop, hip-hop. It's like better straight talk. And I'm from a spiritual community. It's, it's, it's like even better than the spiritual community. Because spiritual community, supposedly, everybody's supposed to love you. But hip-hop community is like supposedly nothing. They give it to you raw. And guess what? When they give you love raw, nothing can beat that. Nothing Amen. can That's beat true. that. Hip-hop. Hip hip-hop. love. Yeah. So yeah, we live. Auto-tunes. We on the boat. Shut up, fly, baby. North Miami. We got Mercury Wolf back in Miami. Let's do it, baby. What is this track called? Can't Kill a Guy. And it's on the album. Can't Kill a Guy. Can't Kill a Guy. Let's do it. Mercury Wolf. Mercury Wolf. Mercury Wolf. Come on. Mercury Wolf. Mercury, Mercury Wolf. 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 Auto tunes. Look what they done to me. 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 They call me in a walker and they call me Betty Walker. The kind that has no lane. The kind that follows lanes. Easy going, easy breezy, easy beachy back on EG. Oh, look what they done to me. Oh, look what they done to me. Driving on I 10 from Texas till it doesn't eliminate the pacifist. New life that's genuine. Remove her chakras. The men in brown order. Remove her dignity. Let's get the crowd order. Look, it seems intrusive. She won't know till we done with it, and uh, 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 she'll be done with it. Yeah. What? Or the you can't kill a god. Can't, can't. You can't kill the god. You can't kill god. And you can't kill me. The only difference between you and me is that I know I'll be left for eternity. Oh, no, 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 you can't kill a god. Hey, say you, you can't, can't kill, kill a me. god. Hey, Mercury Wolf. We hear auto tune, Bob's get thanks. Broken glass everywhere. We want to thank y'all tuning in. Make sure you get that album, Mercury Wolf, February 24th, Tuesday. Bob's get thanks, Mercury Wolf, Pluto, signing off. Auto tune, baby!